Welcome back to another episode of Bites of Moab. Today, we're playing Elden Rain back in 2024, near the end of the year. Um, I'm just filming this right in August, at the end of August, around the 1st of September. Uh, the, the DLCs already came out. I just beat it today, actually, and uh, it's really great. So I kind of want to give you all just a see how this holds up in 2024 and you know if you should still try to play the game or maybe you should hold off so let's go and uh, play with some of our settings right now performance overlay 3 I have frame limit to 90 try to get as much as I can I can honestly put that down to maybe 45 at the most alright let's try to get to 50 just so we are consistent. TDP limit. Uh, try to conserve some battery. Let's see how much, okay. 12 watts seems like it's fine. GPU clock. Oh, that goes down. Let's do 14. 14. Cool. And for my system, full screen, 1280 by 800, ray tracing off, obviously. We can't have ray tracing on here unless you have some sort of custom setup. Quality settings, we are going to change. Custom, advanced, texture, medium, anti-aliasing, high, medium, off. You can see what the settings I have here. Uh, this is a complete map pretty much. Uh, I didn't explore too much of that, I just kind of straight away went to the final boss areas let's see how that was i couldn't find the map i probably should look for that but i did not in the meantime we can at least go around and show you what it looks like at least see what some of the more intensive looking areas are probably over here Let's try a dragon temple altar, see where that's taking us. And it shows you real time loading, what it's like. Yeah, that's not that's no good for me. So we're running about 40, 50. Um, let me change some of the settings a little bit. See if we can uh, get a more consistent frame rate. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, let's get low for that. Uh, effects, do low as well. Lighting, medium is fine, shadow low, motion blur off, depth of field off. Uh, so, you know. I might have to load in the background a little bit more. But we can also, of course, try to boost up our GPU clock a little bit, because it is a little more intensive game. I don't want to do that. Nope. 
Pit down. There you go. I wonder what's down here. Oh, I forgot I got some new armor. Just for fun, I'll, I'll equip the Young Lion's Greaves. to lift. Let's see what we got. But I kind of just want to give you all a little bit of an overview of how this runs. I've seen people on Reddit posted about how they've played this completely on Steam Deck without any issues. I think if you're willing to sacrifice some quality, you should be fine. Oh wow, that's a... <laughs> Whoops. Even me, I can uh, be killed pretty bad. I'm really not doing any damage. I should probably switch that out from my regular to the great sword. <laughs> Wait, no, I don't want to jump off there. When in doubt, just roll. I like how they just wait for you. Thanks. See ya. Oh, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> oh my gosh. It actually followed me. That's awesome. Man, he won him bad. Oh, he survived. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what we like to call in the business an oopsie daisy. A professional oopsie daisy if I ever saw one. Oof. Might as well spin my runes so I don't keep losing them.
not follow me. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> I'm just running at this point. I saw the shadows. Mama didn't raise no fool. Shot me. Just sit down to rest. Nice. Okay, let's check somewhere else out. See what the performance is like uh, at the magma area. A volcano man. Sure. Let's go get hot. Yeah, let's see how it lurks when uh, we load up another area. Okay. Got 40 of this. Even though I changed the battery so the smoke detector and took them out and replaced it, I still have uh, the clock in the background. Can't do anything about that. But that's okay. Who's that big dude? There we go, now it feels so powerful. Oh. Oh my gosh. They are not happy at all. Dude, I feel like an anime character with all these uh, arrows stuck in me. How that looks. Let's go to the DLC area then. Because I'm sure a lot of people here are kind of wondering about the DLC and to see, well, how does it look and how does it play? No, well, let's go take a look then. I'll take a little bit of look see. And no, I did not complete the game uh, on the Steam Deck. I played the game on the PC and my laptop. I enjoy the story and I enjoy seeing the 3D models and locations of it. So that's why I wanted to play it and experience it. That's how you feel powerful. <laughs> I haven't been over here yet. I'm curious to get to there.
You may even have to play a little bit of this on a deck. I do think that it is playable enough to play through the game if you want to purely on the Steam Deck. Are there going to be frame drops? Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be some frame drops. But a far cry from what it once was when Elden Ring first launched on the Steam Deck. Not Steam Deck, on Steam. I think this is what I'm looking for. Yeah. Uh, seed of tree fragments are very important if you want to level up. So be sure to be on the lookout. If you're getting your butt handed you handed to you, then it's probably because uh, you need to level up that way. like my frozen lightning spear. That's, that's pretty nice. Alright, coil. Doesn't look like there's much of anything here. something out there, I haven't been there yet. Can I access that? I'm going to check online. I feel like it should be able to. Maybe not. But yeah, this is uh, Elden Ring DLC. I could take you to the final boss area. This is this place.
And yeah, there are some creepy bees. So if you have some uh, arachnophobia, this might not be for you. So yeah, this is Elden Ring, 2024, after, in about a month that the DLC came out. So if you're kind of interested in playing the game and trying to see if, hey, if I see this on sale, could I actually play it on a Steam Deck if I only have a Steam Deck? And I think the answer would be yes. Uh, it, it feels like it's very much improved since when it first came out. So if you saw some of my old Elden Ring games, you'll see that when it rained in a certain area, that it was absolutely horrible and the frame rate tanked like crazy. And now it's just a, a massive improvement. So if you're interested in playing Elden Ring and you've never played it before, you definitely need to give it a shot because I think it's a, it's a unique game that I haven't seen too many like this. I think it's a game that uh, Everyone should at least try it once. And honestly, if you feel like it's too hard or too difficult, don't feel afraid to try to look up an online guide for it because that's, you're gonna have to get an online guide for a lot of it. Because this game does not hold your hand. You have to figure out everything on your own. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoyed the kind of idea of how this works. If you like the video, be sure to comment down below. Tell me your thoughts about it. Um, hit the like button, notification bell. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, yeah, with that, take care. Enjoy your day. Hope you have a great time. And thank you again for your support. I appreciate you.